Alright, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome to South Georgia College. I'm Dr. Mike Butler. Uh, the business, the Department of Business and Social Sciences Special Events Committee and Coffee Alliance for the Arts is proud to welcome Fruitland Jackson to campus tonight for a concert. Uh, Fruitland is a distinguished oral historian and blues performer. He's been awarded uh, a variety of times in both of those areas. He's one of the only living uh, acoustic performers and oral historians that exists in the United States. He has uh, played all over Europe. He's played all over the United States in a number of uh, institutions of higher learning. And he has a program called Blues in Schools that uh, targets people as young as the kindergarten age, as old as seniors in high school. We're very fortunate to have him tonight, so please give a South Georgia welcome to Fruitland Jackson. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mike. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, we had a, a really nice time this afternoon, and we were talking about the blues and doing a historical overview and listening to what blues sounded like a long time ago. When our grandparents and great-grandparents and great-great-grandparents were growing up, how did they hear music? Before radio and MTV and Nintendo and uh, CD players, how did they know what the hit of the week was? And uh, if you lived out in the rural country area on a farm or an old plantation, how did you hear music and what did it sound like? And so we had a good time this morning doing a lot of older music. Uh, again, my name is Fruitland Jackson, that's F-R-U-T-E-L-A-N-D, and not those apples and oranges that you've been thinking about. And I come here to sing and play the blues, and I play all kinds of styles. This guitar you're looking at right here has tons of names, but if you call it a, a dobro, that's close enough. It's, an old, it's, it's made out of metal, and it was uh, invented in 1928. This guitar was the missing link between acoustic and electric guitar. It was, for five years, it was king of the hill until Gibson came up with this electric guitar. Well, anyway, I'm not going to do too much talking, but I do want to play. And I'm going to start, I'm going to be playing something old, something new, something borrowed, and definitely something blue. So I'm going to jump around a little bit. I see we have all kind of ages here, so I'm going to have to play a little something for everybody. Now, we're going to go back to 1937, 1938, when rock and roll was trying to be born, and it was having contractions. And back then, people used to have a saying, you know, when they, they got their hands full, or they, things got a little bit too tough for them, or they decided they were finished with something, they'd say, well, I'm going to sweep it up in the corner and, and dust my broom. Now, we may be playing with the sound, because I don't want to be loud, but I don't want to be heard. So the sound people maybe hit a few knobs if we need to.
band was, they didn't have any bands as we know them today. It was a one-man band, so you, you had to make a lot of noise. And you had to play all of the, uh, the musical parts. Okay. Now that instrument is naturally loud, so it doesn't need much help. Concentration. The, uh, you have to play your bass line and at the same time play a little rhythm and a little lead to make it all come together. Here's a song called Big Road Blues that was a big hit in 1929. Country Blues. Have you had your country blues today? I said the sun is 
gonna shine in my, my back door someday. Now don't you hear me talking pretty, mama, Lord? Sun's gonna shine in my, my back door someday. And let a strong wind blow these old blues away. And let a strong wind blow these old blues away. songs. I sang it for a friend of mine. His name was Jimmy Lee Robinson. And when I sang the song, he started crying. I said, Jimmy Lee, why are you crying? He said, you just keep on living, fruit man. You just keep on living. So when I listened to the lyrics again, I said, you know, I'm going to have to fix this. Because I believe that there should always be hope in the blues. So I added a, a verse in here to kind of add a little hope to it. Here's a song entitled, it's a ragtime dude, and this is blues. There's so many styles of blues, most people only know one style. And uh, this song is called, My Pencil Don't Write No More. Oh! 
just recorded, and uh, this CD is on the Electrify label, and it'll be out in late summer. And it comes from growing older. I'm a baby, <coughs> and it comes from listening to John Lee Hooker because he was one of my favorite blues singers. And I guess it comes from getting older. And I didn't want to. I didn't know what to name it. And I was caught between either the mirror or I can steal rock and roll. <laughs> So I decided on, I can steal rock and roll. Here we go. Who is this man staring back at me? This is not the face. Many a maiden's desire Lie buried deep in lines it seems To tell the world some broken dreams No carefree smile is witness now The worried lines have creased his brow I can but drop my head and wonder How this stranger he could be The image now of me now of me
quickened many a maiden's desire. Life very deep in lines, it seems, to tell the world some broken dreams. No carefree smile is witness now. No worried lines have creased his brow. I can't but drop my head and wonder how this stranger he could be. The image now of me. The image now of me. The image now of me. Mm-hmm. 